Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio, and today I'm going to show you my two favorite brushes in Open Tunes. There's actually not a lot of brushes that I use. I was thinking of making a video about my favorites, and I can only call two to mind. Like, I don't have a specific brush that I use for lighting and shading, but besides that, I do have two specific brushes that, that I've consciously favorited. So I'm gonna show you how to use brushes in general in Open Tunes, and then show you my favorites. So there's two types of brushes. There's raster brushes and vector brushes. And since we're gonna be drawing, um, I'm gonna start with a sketch because one of my favorite brushes is a sketch brush. I'm gonna start with raster, and then we're gonna go on to the vector one and maybe finish the drawing that I make. If that sounds good, leave me a like and let's get started. On a side note, this is my first tutorial I've ever made standing up. Just, I got this new standing desk converter thing that I bought to increase productivity, and that's thanks to you patrons. And it's definitely working, so thank you to you guys. So, we created a raster level, a Tunes raster level. In order to use brushes, we all we have to do is head over to this style editor right here and hit raster. It's gonna take a little while to load all the brushes, and here we are. Okay, so I know that a lot of you are a little, are a little confused because my interface looks completely different than yours right now. So I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm just gonna go to basics, Click on the layer that we made in order to make a, a layer or level. Just right click on an empty column, hit new level, and we're gonna be using the tunes raster level. I kind of did that, kind of sped by that, I'll admit. So here is what the style editor looks like in the basics tab. Oh, I just took it off by accident. Oh, okay, this is a disaster now. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? Hold on, I can do this. Wait, where did the timeline go? Um, I don't remember where this was. This was here, right? Yeah, and then this was, where, why does the timeline disappear? Okay, uh, wow, this is bad. I should have locked the room paint. <laughs> Give me one second. Well, this is a strange plug. You guys can get this wallpaper on my Patreon right now. Link in the description. Um, but yeah, if you're having trouble docking windows and open tunes, I minimize the, the window and then I think the red line should appear outside the window you can like put stuff back. So I'm gonna try to, we can, wait, how, where did this go? Why is it back now? Yes, I did it. Okay, now so that doesn't happen again, I'm gonna hit workspace and do lock room paints. All right. <laughs> I think that's good. Okay, so I did all of that to say that in order to use the raster brushes after you've created a level, um, you gotta go to the style editor and hit raster. And then we're gonna see we have all these brushes, right? And uh, oh, do make sure that you have auto clicked here because a lot of people don't use auto. I always use auto. Click that and then it'll automatically update your color when you change it and then it'll update your brush when you change it. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down until we start seeing some brushes with blue backgrounds like this one. And we're gonna go over to sketch one. This is my favorite brush. This is my signature brush. It's the brush I use for everything now. Um, it's the brush I used for that fluid animation video. It's the brush I used for the to home, the to home update video. I love this brush. Favorite brush, best brush. So let's make a little sketch, why don't we? Oh, I forgot how to draw noses, but there's a really good, it's an article by, by Monica Zagrobelna. If I mispronounced that, apologize, but her art article is really good on how to draw noses. She has like visual examples and everything like, not a sponsor, but like, could be. So, you know where my email's at. Yeah, do you guys get this when your brush just kind of like gets like when you start drawing fast, it gets kind of like hexagonal. I get that a lot. I think it has to do with my drivers. Hold up. Wow, this video is just running so smoothly. If you're wondering what tablet I use, I use the Artist 24 Pro from XP Pen. I have a review of it right here. If you guys use an eraser and it's like kind of ruining your sketch like that, like making it look ugly, just like grab the hardness slider, put it down to like 19 and then increase the size, of course, like as needed. And it should look cool, it should look much better. I really like this brush because if you press lightly, it kind of goes like, you can almost shade with it. Like if I wanted to shade under the neck, I could just kind of do that. If you press hard, it gets like um, thinner. Kind of like a real pencil, and I really, really like that. Let me start this over, let's see. Artist frustration moment. So as you can see, when I uh, use this brush, I make an absolute mess, but it still looks good. <laughs> Can you even still tell what this is? Leave an honest answer in the comments. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna act like this isn't a drawing and we're just gonna draw over it. Like it doesn't even exist. Like I don't even have to erase it because it doesn't, it's not there. 
I'm gonna be honest and admit that I literally cannot draw today. So in the only video on my channel where I talk about brushes, please excuse the fact that I cannot, I cannot afford to draw today, I don't know why. All right, so that's done, I guess, sorry, I cannot, I cannot afford to let this stand, goodbye. Okay, now we just have, this was the only thing I drew in this tutorial. If you saw anything else, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to figure out, you know, what's going on with the video glitch or whatever that everyone's seeing. All right, so how do you use vector brushes? Well, it's the same thing. You just go over to this vector tab instead of the raster tab. My favorite vector brush actually isn't in OpenTunes natively. What you have to do is with the link in the description, go and download the custom brush pack, copy all the brushes and paste them into the vector brush library in your OpenTunes directory. So which one of these custom brushes is my favorite? It's gotta be this one right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. I literally use this brush exclusively for line art. That's pretty much it. I just really like the way that this brush tapers. It just looks really, really good. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that because uh, the drawing's not happening today, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's happening today. Um, very busy, a lot to work on, but thank you for watching anyway. You wanna help me out, leave me a like. You wanna support the channel, head down to my Patreon. You can get this awesome animated wallpaper for your mobile phone or PC right now by heading down to patreon.com slash noblefrugalstudio. If you don't have the cash, but you still wanna support the channel, head down in the description and sign up for a free trial of Amazon Music Unlimited. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.